So last time I talked about this for GNOME 2, there's a lot of people that liked it, so I'm going to show you how to do this for GNOME 3, and that is to set your wallpapers uh, either automatically or uh, from a hotkey or from the command line, and uh, you don't actually need any extra program, but I know there's a lot of people that, you know, go out there and they try to get, um, like, what are some of the programs, like wallpaper, tray, wally, or whatever it is you don't actually need any of those shit right? Um, so let me show you how to do this here and in GNOME 3 they use G settings I believe in GNOME 2 uh, what was it like Gconf tools or whatever but these are the command lines that uh, you need to know here just as long string uh, the only thing that you really need to change is your folder okay so my picture folder is in pictures slash wallpaper keeps and how I look that in not a list is pictures and then this is my wallpaper folder All right just some pictures that I have in here uh, and what it's gonna do is go in there randomly select one and set it as your background so if I copy this command and we open the terminal paste it it'll change it you know to a different uh, background that I have in there uh, so uh, that's from the command line but if you want to do this from the keyboard it's a little different you have to actually add uh, you know the bash dash C for telling it to use bash and then you have um, what was that the single quotes the opening and then single quotes at the end but the commands is the same thing as you know this one that we did alright so when you do a keyboard shortcut um, let's go into your keyboard here and you go to shortcuts and then you add a custom one I already did that but you know you add a new one give it a name whatever you want and the command line make sure you add in the bash dash C otherwise it doesn't work I don't know what the reason is but uh, that's what you do here so I have mine right here and if I hit the high key uh, if you want to assign a hotkey, you know, just assign it from here if you want. But my hotkey is Control Alt uh, Period. So what I'm going to do, Control Alt Period, and there you go. He's going to, you know, select a random wallpaper. Um, so that's how that works. Now, if you want to do this from um, or automatically using cron tab. Uh, you can do that using this last command. So the only difference here is that uh, it has this part here, display zero, and the G settings here. Um, so if you copy this, copy, and since my um, viewers are new users, like I said, you don't really have to install any extra program. But uh, if you're new, I'll probably say use uh, what is it called, the GNOME scheduler and this program you actually have to install okay but if you're like you know how to use cron from the command line you can actually just use it from the command line but anyways what you're gonna do is add a new one and you say I want to do a reoccurring uh, task and in here you give it a name like I don't know Wally and in the command you just paste that sucker in um, I think this one I maybe just leave it as default. That's good enough. And right here they have some basic ones. If you want it like every hour, it'll change the wallpaper or it'll run the command. I mean, uh, if you want to do advanced, since you don't know what these are, uh, you know they have minutes, hours, days, but you can actually just change it from here if you don't know what you're doing. And let's say if you want it like every minute, then it'll do star, 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 star. Uh, if you want to do like every, I don't know, every two hours, then that's how you would set it up like that. But we're going to do it every minute now. Let's just to test it out. And we're going to add it. Okie dokie. And let's see, we'll wait for one minute. Right now it's at 46. Uh, let's see if we can do it to 47. It will just do uh, automatically, you know, change the wallpaper. Um, what else is there? 
Oh, well, a minute is going to take long. So I'm going to show you if you know you know how to use uh, uh if you don't want to use this thing, which if you don't know how to install this, it's basically just called uh, what is it? It's just called GNOME dash schedules. Uh, so install this, you know, either from your software center, Synaptic, whatever it is and 47 there you go it changes wallpaper automatically once it hits uh 47 like every minute uh depends what you know the the timing that you set it up to if you say every hour or whatever then you know it'll change it every hour but that's how you do it from this GUI here if you're a new user if you're an advanced user you know you're probably going to use um what is it the contab dash e and in here it's pretty much the same thing you have you know your star 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 or whatever and then your command which I have right here for that so uh, like I said you don't really need any programs but if you're new use that gnome scheduler so you don't mess up your or if you don't know how to use cron then I suggest you use that anyways that's it for this one